Robin of Loxley survived the burning sands of faraway lands as he served his role in the Unforgiving Crusades. He emerged unscathed from deadly skirmishes just to become an exile and face mightier enemies in his own home country. After his previous hideout in Silwich, which was razed to the ground, the forests of Sherwood granted refuge to him and his retinue, while its new rulers threatened all. King Richard the Lionheart's untimely demise plunged England into chaos and left roving bands and their petty warlords free to fight amongst themselves for territory and influence. The Sheriff of Nottingham, a murderer and usurper, exploiting the pervasive lawlessness, pillages one area after another, increasing his power and leaving the poor residents of Sherwood at the mercy of wild fate. Please, look out for yourself when you're out gathering the herbs. Very funny. I've been locked in a tower once, and now there's no end to the jokes. Jokes? Me? My dearest, I'm only a simple outlaw. I know nothing of jokes. Just like I know nothing of herbs. Come here, simple outlaw. I've missed you. 
and I have missed you, Marian. <laughs> Going back to your woes, little John has been teaching me how to swing a blade properly. Anyone who gets too close will now find themselves a head shorter. Okay, that's cool. I love it when games have the actual talking, you don't have to sit and read it. Can I, is it gonna be the same? I don't know, am I gonna click it again? Be, be the same talk. I always worry when you're away from home for long, Robin. My good friar, the sheriff will face death well before I do. Haughty as always, I'm just glad to see you in good health, friend. Don't worry. We're not in danger this time. We're safe here. Nothing I can do after the nightmare that the Crown's men brought on us and our old home. This time they won't run into us. We're well hidden. I saw to that. The previous settlement was so goodly, I know you all too well, you crafty fox. I'm aware you're scheming to fight back. What matters is everyone made it out alive. After I defeated Black Henry and freed Marion, the sheriff completely lost his composure. I must stop the enemy before he becomes too powerful. The enemies, the king and sheriff, don't stop at their own henchmen. You constantly hear about ever more scoundrels plaguing the surroundings of Nottingham. King's allies grow in numbers. Some are bought with land assignment, others threatened with death and confiscations. We must weaken the grip of the king and the sheriff if we are to feel safe here. Definitely, Robin. Recently, little John had his shirt cut. We can't take risks like that. He'll recover. You know him. We each have our crosses to bear. You say so yourself. Well said. You may be right. This settlement seems secure. This time no one will find us. Time to let an arrow loose right into the beast's heart. I believe you, dear Robin, but before you do that, you must regain your strength. Setting up a new village is exhausting work. Eat something, have a drink, rest in your home. We'll talk later. Okay, let's see where we go next. If you look at the top, there seems to be a, a bar up there. I'm thinking probably that. Flowers growing in the meadow. Not hurt. Someone takes a stab. Okay, so we can take all these different things. So I'm thinking, let's just grab them all.
send out hunters. Send out hunters and stuff. Fishermen. Okay. Um. simple sword. Now, when you hit, now you got a simple sword, it'll you can use it to defend and stuff. You can get block. Okay. I wonder if I can get more stuff from him. How have you been getting along with Tuck while I'm away? Lately, he got the crazy idea of been nicking wine from his pantry. Can you believe it? Well, have you? Of course I have. But he ain't caught me red-handed. And if he does... You'll tell him that's not your red hand. Hello. Okay, let's see. Is this... Okay, we can buy stuff then. An axe. Pick. How much money do I have? Oh, okay, here we go. Bye. Now, can I sell stuff? Sell. sell the stone, things like that. Okay, cool. Bamboo, paint, tar, rusty sword. Simple sword, low quality. Garlic, chicken. Apples and a couple pieces of chicken. Bowstring. Uh, let's oh, let's we'll get a bowstring. Just I don't know. Okay, that's cool. So that's our like our trader. 
now this is where we can get fucking stuff. Now is this my... Is this my house? Okay, this is our checkpoint. This is now, this is my, um, my storage. Uh, the empty bottles I might keep on me just in case. Uh, let's see, a bittersweet substance. Uh, odd color allows you to regenerate lost health. Yeah, we will keep it. How do we split it? I don't want to put all of it in there. Oh, here, let's uh, do this. I want to get two and three. Let's see, what are these? Okay, it's, uh, safe haven districts. These are all the different Sherwood. So we can go to these places and. Go sleep in your house, did that, now I gotta talk to Friar Tuck Woo! again. Have you already managed to get some rest? Good friend, it'll never cease to amaze me how little sleep you need. This can't be healthy. It's good for you, as long as you have water instead of wine, good friar. I'm not swayed by this. Besides, those who sleep don't sin. I'll keep my wine. <laughs> I knew how you'd react. Take it easy, Tuck. Your cask supply's safe. I should think so. It's a strategic reserve for a time of crisis. Certainly. Not another word. I take it you slept so well you misplaced your weapon. Where is your bow? This time I didn't lose anything. I broke it during a hunt. We've had so much work with building a new village that I haven't had time to craft a new one yet. The forest hasn't been kind to us of late. The worst is behind us, however. And now, you can take to making your bow in peace. Grab a hatchet and fell a few trees. The wood should suffice for both the bow and the arrows. I have a hemp cord here that should do as a bowstring. That's all the help I need. Thank you, Tuck. No, I just bought a bowstring. I know how much you value your weapon. See to crafting it, but be right back. Our village needs your help. Okay, let's see. Now they want us to make. Let's see what is in here. Honey. Beer. Horse satchel. Okay, oh, cool. I think that. 
Gives us more carrying ability, maybe? Okay, now we want to craft. Try to figure out where... How to read this, uh... That's good. They want us to craft a bow. Oh, can we just do that right in here? Okay. With the I inventory button, you have your crafting menu right in the inventory button. got the hatchet so we don't need to I built that or I bought that instead of built it so. okay now that at four no 
Now do I have to put this into something? Yeah, okay. Okay, now let's go back and talk to Frederick Tuck again. With a bow like this, you have nothing to fear. Unless you get on Marion's bad side again by telling her to cook for you. Even the purest steel and holy water wouldn't help you then. <laughs> Time's long past. We've explained things to each other and agreed I wouldn't make this mistake again. <laughs> uh, speaking of whom, have you... Be at ease. This time no one lured her into a trap. She left to help the locals. She'll be back sooner or later. That sounds like her. You said you could use my help here? Yes. There are many things we need. Food, most of them all. A better archer couldn't be found in all of Sherwood. Before you set off to take from the rich, perhaps you could use your skills to aid us. I'll gladly try out the new bow. Stoke the fire. We're having a roast tonight. I'll leave the meat in storage. Everyone in the village is working so intensely, a small feast should lift their spirits. Nice. Okay, so now... Show us. Okay, this is like the hunting area. Set to destination. How do we do that? Okay. Okay, can we, if we go here. And then can we go from that and to transport to the hunting grounds? Oh, that's just to get back to the village. Robin's getting a little thirsty. 
Thursday. This game is definitely has a lot of potential. Okay, I'll take the wells in the center here, yep. Okay, good. Let's drink. Good, okay, now. Go to the well to replenish. Um, where's the town storage? I want to think I'm gonna help throw some of this stuff in the town storage. Friend or foe? Depends what you think of King John and the Sheriff. One onto the pyre, the other to stoke the flames with. <laughs> Friend. Very well. The name's Theobald, good master. On a quest to find cocaine. On the road for months, all of us. The Sheriff, may his part shrivel and fall off, has been a thorn <laughs> in all our sides. Left my home in cinders. Barely made it out with the family, gathered the rest of the people, and so through the woods we go week after week. Cocaine. 
Don't take offense, but that is a made-up place. Not made up, but legendary. And I shall find it. Besides, better to look for cocaine than to live where the sheriff rules. Two. There's some right on your side. Perhaps you'll make a stay at my village. It's... I'll stop you there. I thank you, but we continue on. The sooner we set out, the faster we'll... Damn it! What now? Spirits? Blasted savages. Normally we manage, but we've been on the road for some time and we'd be in dire straits if it weren't for you. I can't offer much. Hunger afflicts us too. But tell me your name, and anyone we meet will know. Its bearer is a good man and fierce warrior. I have no want for gold, nor do I seek admiration, but thank you. I am Robin of Loxley. Thank you, Robin of Loxley.
where's the oh I'm at the edge of it
Okay, deliver me to the storage. I like the fast travel. That that's really nice. Okay, deliver it to the storage. and heavens above, you're back safe and sound, good Robin. Allow me to ask, how was the matter of our doze? Was your hunt successful? How long have we known each other that you still need to ask? <laughs> My eyes haven't failed me this time either. I just hope that there's enough for everyone. Please, make sure they have a warm meal today. By the blessed mother, of course it shall be done. Well fed and under your leadership, they will soon take up proper work. Hmm. What do you mean by that? The expansion of our settlement, of course. The merry men are starting to run out of breathing room. You are surrounded with many loyal people. Each of them needs a roof over their head. The more houses there are, the more able bodies we have for work. I think I know what you're hinting at, Tuck. Have I become that predictable? Hmm, in that case, I won't beat about the bush. We need wood to construct homes for the village's inhabitants. There's more of us here with each passing day. Okay, so now we want to get more pine for the storage. Let's, uh, go to our house first. I want to go to sleep first. I can't wait for this. 
game to come full of release. This is, a, this is only the demo, so we're not going to have as much that we'll be able to do. resin various substances which are just small. Okay now we can construct a house.
but that's that's kind of spooky. <laughs> There you are. I saw the new building. A fine job. I've always believed that carpentry is an exceptional craft. True. Looks cosy. Now is the time for the people who live there to get to work. Fortunately, none of them expect a free dinner. We have a few tool production specialists here, and if you build a furnace, you will see that for yourself. <laughs> Tuck. Are you trying to use some underhanded ploy to send me out into the woods? God forbid! This time to the quarry. The furnace requires stone. Extract it and watch over the construction. You won't regret it, as we need the tools the furnace provides. Okay, let's see. We've got the stone already. We've got the pine and storage. We just need...
get up there.
I don't know how I can get up to that. That box up there. Wonderful, Robin. You've mastered the portion of duties related to managing the village. I never doubted your hunting abilities, but governing a township is an entirely different skill set. As you see, I can manage that too. Ha! Ah, let's hope no roofs fall on anyone's head. 
I can think of at least one person in Nottingham Castle who could use a roof collapsing on his head. Robin, though I do have a similar sentiment towards falling roofs and the sheriff's head. <laughs> anyway, listen to me well now. This is a serious matter. So, you know how to be serious. I can, and so should you by now. The village that we're setting up here is only the beginning. You'll see for yourself that in time we'll learn how to function not as a band of forest outlaws, but as a well-organized community. That's the plan. I'll make it so that the people will live free again, safe from the Sheriff's tyranny. Of course, I believe it. Even if I didn't, that would make scarcely a difference with your persistence. What's this about, then? About the people, in fact. For now, those closest to us. You realize we're surrounded by a vast and marvelous land, after all. It is inhabited by various houses, groups and alliances. It's often the case that they are not quite fond of each other. I'm aware of that, Friar. Try to win the sympathy of at least a few. Show the denizens of this land that not all hope is lost. Having their support means you'll travel the road further ahead with greater confidence. Hmm. Reasonable. Is there something I should start with? Every action taken against the outlaws or the men of King John and the Sheriff is an action that counts. To every one of us. When the King's steward looks to take some good person's head, you stop him. When you see a caravan laden with royal gold, I'm sure you see where this is going. I understand. There are, however, places where exceptionally unsettling things are said to happen. Yeah, the prologue, that's where it pretty much ends. For the most quests. Go sleep. Oh, I'm to Marian again. I know it's not in your nature, Marian, but have you had some rest since the escape? I could ask you the same thing, my dear. The Prince of Thieves needs to rest too. Now you're just mocking me. The Prince of Thieves. A little, but mostly worrying. So many sleepless nights have passed to settle here. There's no end in sight. Are you handling our people all right? I tended to whom I could with what little there was left in the herbal satchel. I can gather new plants myself, but we need more serious equipment to look after the gravely injured. Tell me how I can help you. We have most of the construction materials, as well as the plans. Collect some reed for me. It usually grows by rivers and other bodies of water. And later? Look over the construction. I've already done that. With the reeds. Hopefully I have enough left in the sock. Okay, well that's where we're going to leave off for this uh, first episode. Let me know what you think of this. Um, if you look, look forward to seeing a series of this once it releases, it will be in 2024 when it is released. I'll think about getting it as a, another game for the channel. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments. Thank you to Chris and Heather for being channel supporters as members of the channel. I appreciate it very much.